Hello everyone, Steve here and welcome to a another video. So this is going to be my very late coverage of DLC 2, Glutton's Gamble. So I was actually supposed to record this on Thursday, which was on the 19th. But unfortunately, due to uh, my coursework and everything, uh, revision and stuff like that, I was just... I just didn't have the time to do it. So we're covering it now. And once again, I'll be taking my trap scallion through. And for the sake of the video, because I don't want to be dying at the boss and starting over from scratch and having this video being potentially too long, I've dropped the chaos level down to 10. So I've heard this DLC is better than the first one, but it's still roughly the same length. Um, I don't know why I kept this format. The first DLC was a pile of trash. Um, I am not holding my hopes up for this one. But we're going to take it through anyway. I want the gear from it. So let's just go. A trip there will add spice to your life. It takes a strong stomach to face the monster in the mirror. Imelda, witch of the sand, had a stomach of steel. An appetite for everything. Love, life, linguini. And though her hunger grew, the space she had to store it shrank. So she cooked up a recipe for an ability she'd always admired. A troll's capacity to eat everything. And it worked. Her potion was a hit. Its transformative side effects, a cherry on top. As her capacity for pleasure and pasta grew, so too did her love of power. <clears throat> Alright, so obviously we're going to be too strong because we are on Chaos 10 and my gear. I'm still using that low level. Uh, well, I say low level. It's a non-chaotic fear not this is a pixie build i know it's op i don't like them but i'm using it for this video that for the fast reloads for the uh spell weaving stacks a couple of spell damage rings a pretty decent armor piece a body rune for health regen on kill frost damage berserker power and a uh yeah, another thing I hate, Buffmaster. I am working on a, new, on a new build right now called a Deadshot, which focuses on only triple I spikes and nothing else. No guns, just spells. Found that castle in the forest. I see only vague shapes. A mushroom, a crab, a bean, maybe? A very lumpy bean. Anyway, these are, no doubt, Ingredients for the truck. Something unsavory is brewing. Oh, I blame you for trying. I've been dying. I'll take that. I've also been told that some of the maps in this DLC are very big. I see a few individuals wandering nearby who may have a clearer vision of this situation than I do. This already looks nicer than the first DLC. To find out what secrets they're holding. list of ingredients. Shall we take a look? It says magic shroomlets hold the fangs, goblin beans, hot or cold, pirate crabs, any kind will do. What monster would dream up a list like this? It's unfathomable. I must see the mind that cooked up this mess. 
Only a wild imagination could concoct such twisted things. Go and find it. Liking the areas so far. I see a stunning. You. <laughs> a little fortune teller humor. Shrooms grow in every crevice of these woods, which give the forest its distinctive, pungent scent. I can't smell it, of course. I can't even imagine. But I can tell from your face that's an accurate description. I see five mushrooms in your future. Good luck finding one without fangs. I'm going to mute my mic a second. Actually, no, I'm going to pause the recording while I wait for this stupid phone to finish ringing. Alright, sorry about that. Bloody scam callers. C4 effort. C minus. Fully stopped. I think I probably could have gotten away with um, Chaos 20, to be quite honest. But this is a little too easy. But this isn't really gameplay. I just want to show the DLC. What it, what's in it. And make it to the boss at the end without dying. more than I need one. Yep, one. As my friend Gus, the court jester, used to say, there's no fun without fun Gus. Ah, he was annoying. May he rest in peace. Well. <clears throat> what the fuck? Why am I falling off? You can go away as well. that dwell here value three so we're back in crack mask by the looks of it coin, preserving ancient architecture and their beans you'll need to draw the alpha goblins out of hiding to get the ripest beans picking off a few of their less bean endowed friends should do the trick this area looks pretty cool I won't reach. Where the hell did you go? I 
I hate the fact that I make that made the loot enemies immune to everything but melee. Not everyone has strong melee. More meat for the grinder. Quite a bit of a design flaw. There's a lot of questionable design forces in this game. Okay, well, at least the enemies aren't constantly Those spawning like they were in called captors. Or they hasn't been. Eh, whatever, moving on. So how many rooms do we have left? One, two. The pirates of this idyllic cove may not have much in the way of creature comforts, but they do have crabs. Lots of crabs. I'd watch out while you're collecting crab meat. They're known to pinch. And by they, I do mean the pirates. Thanks for the reload, idiot! Short work. I oh, saw these guys infinite. I think I might have spoken too soon. I think actually, you might. <clears throat> I think this might actually be a good. Uh, Soul Crystal Farm. So that's 75 already. I haven't done any of the bonus stuff, if there is any in this one. Like in our core captures, um, you get like bonus stuff for finding all the soul chests in each room and destroying all the elemental barrels. So yeah, I actually think these guys might be infinitely spawning. So if you want to farm up your soul crystals, jump in here on a low chaos level. Once you've done the DLC, reload back on max and um, farm that wheel. It's not a bad way to do it, actually. So I wonder how they're going to implement all this into the Chaos Chambers. Would I cut bits of it out, shrink it down, or just keep the whole room in? Because I have a feeling this will be way too large for a Chaos run. I forgot to 
to do it again. One more to go. Carefully, the trolls here pride themselves on the size of their bone piles. But as my cellmate Haggath the Swampface always said, you can't make bone meal without cracking a few bones. The trolls' bones, ideally, not yours. <coughs> Give those bone piles a shake and see what happens. At least there's more um, enemy diversity in this DLC. Would it be too much if I said bone appetite? Oh, it is. I take it back. Will he stop? Um, bossy water, please. Where's the badass? <laughs> Why is this still highlighted? Alright, whatever. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, one more. Once again, a very cool looking area. Where is this supposed to be? Shattergrave? Okay, so this is boss. get up closer to her at all. I guess not. Plan. <coughs> Activate this. Well, that worked out. What the fuck? Yeah, just chuck shot me through. Solid objects, cool. Absolute rubbish boss. Why is it? Yeah. There should be a way you can get up closer to her. Because that is just, yeah, that's trash. Honestly. The rest of it's fine. Once again, a little bit too short for my liking, but yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, you not that a great. Strong stomach for salty language. <laughs> All right, let's throw this back up to. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Thirty-five. Now there's a face I'm always happy to see, and don't mind the mirrors near me. I was talking to you. See what we get. Ah, uh, okay. N latest update, by the way. Um, you get more gear from uh, the wheel now, which is really nice. That's such a this will sell well, at least.
Oh, I'm one shot. Rainbow. Is this a new one? No. Unfortunately, no new stuff. Okay, well, that was a DLC 2, a Glutton's Gamble. <clears throat> it's a much nicer looking DLC. It's much more enemy variants. Um, final boss, unfortunately, is trash. So you can't have everything your way, unfortunately. As far as as far as uh, the devs are concerned. Anyway, so yeah, once again, I'm a little, I'm a little bit late for covering this one. Uh, this came out on the 19th. It's, it is now the 21st. I've just been really busy. Um doing my course and everything i'm just doing everything i can to uh, pass it um i really want my license at the end um you know i need to change the career honestly so i hope you enjoyed this one um i tried to show off as much as possible but yeah after the first dlc i am not hopeful at all for any future content on this game the base game itself is still is still incredible uh the chaos chamber end game is still amazing always has been always will be DLCs, on the other hand, mediocre at best. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And, of course, until next time, take care. And, as always, I'll see you all later. Goodbye for now.